So the research that we do at Novartis Diagnostics is toward developing early stage diagnostics for a group of diseases called the misfolded proteins. So misfolded protein diseases are a series of disorders that include Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and type 2 diabetes that all share a common theme, which is that a normal endogenous protein that all of us would have inside of us takes on a new shape. And as it takes on this new conformation, it changes properties. And so it starts to stack up on itself, first forming oligomers and then forming large-scale aggregates, which are associated with cellular toxicity. So the best tools that are out there right now allow us to detect these large-scale aggregates. And what we wanted to do was to develop those early-stage aggregates so that we can help patients identify what's happening before the disease has progressed to cellular death. So this is kind of a, an example of where um, a biomedical problem is also a nanoscale science problem where these oligomers or partial aggregated proteins need to be recognized specifically by a chemical reagent and that's what we collaborated on developing. So we're absolutely continuing to collaborate with one another. I think that the Novartis Diagnostics and Molecular Foundry projects have been really fruitful thus far, and I think we can continue to make really great innovations. One of the places that we want to focus is getting even better detection of these misfolded proteins, and so I think that's really where we're putting our energy now. Yeah, and I think it's important for us to always um, have a hand in practical applications that can make an impact in both energy and in healthcare, and I think we have a really nice partnership that we certainly hope uh, we can continue to be of service. So we've been really excited that our project recently has resulted in a paper in, to be published in biochemistry that describes a universal assay for the detection of misfolded proteins. This is one of the first assays that allows for the quantitative detection of these disease-associated oligomers. And we think that this really could serve as the basis for uh, early stage diagnostics that will help patients choose their therapeutic options. I think it's a, an ideal application of, of our technology and a, a good example of a national lab industry collaboration.